I have an image in my mind. A pair of eyes of my grandma look at me full of hope. My grandma is a typical Chinese old lady. Whenever she misses me, she takes out all the postcards that I send to her. She looks at those postcards one by one and over and over again. It seems that she spent another five seconds at looking at them, then she will melt into the beautiful view. Whenever I come back home, she asks me to explain the stories behind each of the postcards. Once, she grabbed my hand and said, you know, grandson, when I was young enough to travel, the airplanes in our company, in our country, do not use for traveling. And now you see me, see my body? <sighs> Probably this is only my dream. Sometimes I look at your photo, I have the strong inclination just to run into the photo and see the place where you have been and experience your feelings. I said to my parents and my grandma, well, you know, Grandma, I haven't earned enough money to make a stargate for you yet. Otherwise, I would teleport you to wherever you want to visit. I laughed. But my grandma looked at me with a pair of eyes full of hope and crave. I know it is a dream of her. And it is not only her dream. Uh, young children may uh, shake, her hand with, uh, shake the hand of the mother, say, Mom, Mom, look at this uh, photo. Is it Switzerland? It's so beautiful. I cannot wait to visit it. I want to jump into the photo. They are nice dreams, no? And unfortunately, I cannot teleport these people to the place that they want to be. But what if I can teleport the nice views to these people. And here we go. Through a virtual postcard, we can actually see the nice views. And we can walk into the nice views, just as what my grandma expected. I can already see the smiling face of my grandma when she realized that she can actually walk into the beautiful view as she imagined and dreamed. And more than that, she can even hear my voice and see a 3D handwriting in the air. And we will have these panorama videos allow people to walk in a dynamic virtual environment. And we will have these augmented reality glasses we will wear them like sunglasses so that we don't need to hold a cell phone in our hand in, uh, in order to see this virtual content. Can you imagine with these tools? A morning I wake up, I can click here, then the virtual portal opens to China, I can walk in and give a hug to my grandma. Afterwards, I can click here, and then another virtual portal opens. I can walk inside to have a business meeting with my partner in France. We sit around one table, we talk and we discuss. After the work, I click there. Then another portal leads me to a cinema. I can watch a movie together with a friend that I haven't seen for quite a while. This portal is a magic. It just brings the distance between people smaller and smaller. And that's not everything about it. A virtual card, a postcard, has a time stamp. What if we have an old postcard and we can walk into it, we walk into the past? May I invite you to imagine that we stand in the city center of Geneva. All of a sudden, all the colors start to fade out. The modern luxury sporty Lamborghini changed to old-style carriage. 
and 100 years of erosion on buildings take place and finishes in five seconds. The sharp comparison between the past and the present remind us how fast the civilization evolves. Meanwhile, a respect to the power of time arise from the deepest depths of our heart. More importantly, if we start to record the nice views of today, let's say Martini, that's a fortune for the future. If someday my grandchildren shake my hand and say, Grandpa, Grandpa, I want to know where you visited and where you lived. I want to go there and see. I will be willing to um, give him this postcard and say, here, take it. And you can walk into it and explore how Martini looks alike on the day of 8 of September 2017. On that day, your grandpa had a life-affirming day. Thank you.